There's a large amount of people that are very capable of working even though they're disabled and would be very loyal employees. Melissa Hope Caulfield. I don't think I have ever met anyone who was more courageous or tenacious or harder working. Is it your dream to have a job? Yes. The word disability does not mean that you can't do your job. Good things happen when people have jobs. That's the motto of Enable America founder, attorney Richard Salem. 70% of young people capable of being employed with serious disabilities are jobless, and that is unacceptable. Enable America's Community Connection Forums work to change the perceptions that have led to that staggering unemployment rate of 70% for people with disabilities. Community leaders, lawmakers, employers, and service providers come together here to share ideas and find solutions. Technology is a key factor in bringing more people with disabilities into the workplace. Technology Symposium 2006. At this Enable America Community Connection Forum in Tampa, state-of-the-art technology was on display, like the Freedom Scientific JAWS software program, which electronically reads computer screens and email. JAWS stands for Job Access with Speech. It's leveled the playing field for a person who is blind or low vision in the fact that it's enabled them to use a personal computer just as their sighted counterparts do. Freedom Scientific's Jeff Bazer describes how it works. We're in a list of emails here right now, so if I wanted to read any one of these, press enter and begin reading an email message just like you would do on the screen where you click on it and begin to read. We have a single mission, a single focus, jobs, jobs, jobs. The mission is close to the heart of Enable America's founder. Richard Salem lost his eyesight after being hit with a baseball when he was a teenager. At first, he shut out the world, but later realized with the help of his friends, life has too much to offer to just give up. When I took that first step myself and took that deep breath to go out of my room for the first time, after I'd lost my sight, I knew there was no turning back. He went on to be the first blind person to graduate from Duke University's law school and is now a successful attorney. He knows firsthand having a job means inclusion in society. People with disabilities look outside that window and wonder, how do I get involved in this community? How do I become a part of the American dream in the workplace. These are questions forum attendees like Stanley Harris, a wheelchair user injured by a stray bullet, and Melissa Caulfield, who has cerebral palsy, ask themselves every day. They want to work, but can't find jobs. I would be very loyal, and I'm honest, and I would, you know, I'd work hard. I'd get the job done. Stanley says he could do everything from computer work at home to mowing lawns. He's paralyzed from the waist down and must deal with spasticity, but it doesn't hold him back from being active. Put it right here. Come on. Good girl. Most of all, he has passion. I just feel like I have, you know, something to offer and, of course, make more money. I graduated with, um, honors. Um, what was my... Hmm, Your GPA? My GPA, I think, was... Um, it was 3.7, I three think. 3.7, yes. Yeah. Melissa is also very passionate and very proud. She deals with mobility issues due to her cerebral palsy, but her determination makes up for it. With resume in hand, Melissa and her mom, Terry Boatner, came to the Tampa conference ready to network. Melissa is an inspiration 
to everyone she meets. Melissa graduated from the University of South Florida in 2004 after 10 years of hard work. As she walked across the stage to get her diploma, 5,000 people in the auditorium gave her a standing ovation. It was just the most, probably the most proud moment of my life. But after all she's accomplished, Melissa can't find a job. Here's what she wants employers to know. I work at my own pace, but I'm accurate. They get absolute dedication. They get no excuses. They get someone who is uh, heartfelt about what they're doing, who appreciates having a job, and who wants to please.